Hello everyone. So today our topic is how to upload Telegram file in Google Drive automatically. So today our objective is that whenever we get a new file on our Telegram group or channel, we want to save this file automatically on our Google Drive. For that, we are going to create an integration between Telegram and Google Drive. For creating this integration, we are going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, we are going to use triggers and action. In trigger application, we will be using Telegram and in action application, we will be using Google Drive. How I'm going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today our objective is that whenever we get a new file as a message on our Telegram group or channel, then we want to save that file on our Google Drive. And we also want to automate this process so that it will save our time and energy. So for this, we need to create an integration between our Google Drive and Telegram. For creating this integration, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. And if you already have an account, you can just sign in And you can see this page and these are all the tools that Pabli offers. Here we are going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to click here on access now button under Pabli Connect. And it will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflow that we will create here. This is the folder section. We can create new folder from here and we can save our workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now we are going to create a new workflow for that, I'm going to click here on this blue button, which is create workflow. So this window will pop up. Now I have to name my workflow and I will name it as my objective, which will be upload telegram file in Google Drive. Now I will select the folder where I want to save my workflow in, which is home. So I will click on create. And this will take me to this window. And we have these two boxes here. First is trigger, second is action. So these are the two main principle on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger will be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. Now we will set up our trigger first. So my trigger application will be telegram. So I will search for telegram. I will click here. Now I have to give a trigger event. So I will open this tab. I will select my trigger event, which is set webbook slash watch updates. Click on this. And I will click on connect. I will click on add new connection. And now to connect my telegram and public connect, I have to give a token. So for getting this token, you need to follow all this instruction. Now I will go back to my telegram account and I will search for bot father. And for creating a new bot, I will click here on this blue button and I will select slash new bot. So this will create a new bot for me. Now I have to name my bot. I will name it as Pabli4521. I will send this. And now it is asking for username for my bot. So I will give my username as Pabli4521 underscore bot. So you need to keep one thing in mind while giving the username that your username should always end with underscore bot. So I will send this and this has created a token for me and this is my bot. So I will copy this token first. I will go back to Pabli Connect and I will paste it here and I will click on save. So my connection is successful. Now I'm going back to my telegram account and I will start my bot. And now I will go back to public connect and I will click on save and send test request button. Now to get this response, I need to go back to my telegram and I will create a new group. In this group, you can add the members that you want and you need to add your bot. So I will add my bot here and I will add other members. 
and I will click on create. Now I need to name my group. So I will name it as Pabli Drive and I will create this group. I will open this and here we can see we have these four members and what we need to do is we need to give admin authorization to our particular bot that we are using. So I'm gonna do this by using my mobile phone because I'm using Telegram web on my PC and that doesn't support to give authorization. So I need to use my mobile phone. For that I will open Telegram on my mobile phone and I will open this group and give authorization to my bot. Now we'll refresh this and I will open it again and here we can see this particular bot has admin authorization. So this is our bot we have just created and we are going to use. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a file on this group. So I'm sending this file and this contains Pabli logo. So I'm gonna send this and now let's go back to Pabli Connect. And here in the response section, we can see we have this response and in the message text, we have this URL of the image and this message, which is Pabli logo. So here in our message, we get both the text and the link. So to use this further, we need to split this text. And for that, we are going to use text formatter by Pabli. This is a tool that Pabli offers to transform your text. For that, I will search for text formatter in my action. I will click here. I'll give an action event, which will be split text. And I will click on connect. Now I will select this text that I want to split. So I will map it for mapping. I'll click here. I will open the response and I will select the detail that I want to use. So this will be message text. So this is the message that I want to split. Now I have to give the separator. For separator, I will use space. So I will just copy this and paste it here. So what this is going to do is that this is going to split the text whenever there is a space and in the segment index, I will select all. What this is going to do is this is going to split all the text. Now we'll click on save and send text request button. And this will give me the response. So it has split all the response. And here we can see we have this URL and Pabli and logo. Now we are going to set up and filter so that it will only work for the messages that contain any files or attachment and not for all the messages. For that we are going to add another action and in our action we will use filter by Pabli. So I will click here on add action step. And I will select filter. So in the select label, I will use the message text. So I will open the response and I will select this. And in the filter type, I will use contains. And my value will be HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. Whenever we will get this in the our message text, so this filter will work and it will move further. So now I will click on save and send text request button. And in the response, it says condition is true. So we will move forward and we will add our last action step. For that, I will click here on add action step. In this action step, what we need to do is we need to save our files on our Google Drive. For that, I will choose my action application as Google Drive. I will select here. And I will give an action event. And my action event will be upload a file. And now I will connect my Google Drive with Pabli Connect. So I will click here. I will click on add new connection. I will sign in with Google. Now I will click on continue to give authorization to my account. So my connection is successful. Now we need to give URL of the file. So we will map it from the trigger response. For mapping, I will click here and I will select the response. For that, I will use this text formatter by Pabli response. I will open this. We will map the URL that we have splitted. So this will be our URL. Now I have to give folder ID. We need to go back to my Google Drive. I will open this. I am going to use this folder, Telegram files. I will open this. 
and here in the URL, we can see we have this ID. So this will be our folder ID. So I will copy this. I will go back to Pavli Connect and I will paste it here. Now I have to give a file name. For file name, I'm again going to map. For that, I will click here. I will again use split text and file name will be Pavli space logo. So the question is why I have used mapping. So mapping is a process through which we can retrieve the data from previous steps and this data will get exchanged in real time with the new data. Now after mapping, we have mapped our URL, folder ID and my file name. So now I'm going to click on save and sanitize to case button. And here in the response, we can see it is saying success. To check this, we will go back to my Google Drive. And here we can see in my Google Drive, we have this Telegram file folder. And in this folder, we have saved this new image, which is Pabli logo. And we have this same image in our Telegram group as a message. So our integration is working successfully. Let's check it again. I will go back to my Telegram. And in my group, I will send another file. Here I have this image of Taj Mahal, so I'm going to send this and I will go back to Pabli Connect and I will refresh this. Now I will go back to my Google Drive and here we can see we have saved this image of Taj Mahal. So our workflow is working successfully and have, we have created this integration which is working smoothly. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect. Let's summarize what we did here. First we have set up our trigger and our trigger application was Telegram bot and our trigger event was set webhook slash watch updates. Then we have formatted our text because we need to split our text as text and the link. So we use text formatter by Pabli and our action event was split text. Then we have set up another action. In this, we have used filter by Pabli and in our filter, we use the link HTTP so that whenever we get that particular thing on our text message, then only it will work. Then in our final action, we used Google Drive and our action event was upload a file. So our workflow is successful and I have created this workflow successfully. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I will also put the link of my workflow in the description. So you can check it out from there. Not just these application, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.